Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ollie here and welcome back to the channel. Now, I'm getting into kind of busy season preparing for exams, so I was looking for some content that might be a little bit easier and more reliable to make. So I thought we'd have a go together at Two Point Hospital. This is the spiritual successor to Theme Hospital, which came out in the either late 90s or early 2000s, I believe. And um, so it's basically a management sim where you have to manage your own hospital, uh, basically, as the name might suggest. So let's just jump in. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Okay, welcome to Two Point County. I'm Albert Crank and I'll be your trusty advisor on this journey. Okay. This is Hogsport and here's your first hospital. Click on it to get started. I will do that. I'm intrigued by this Oh Superbug Network collab project. Okay, so we can go in and out. My good friends have played this Hogsport, begin your career as a hospital administrator. Learn the basics by establishing your first hospital. Let's go. I'm very excited. I've heard such good things about this. I picked it up in the summer sale 2019. Welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital? Yes. Uh, right mouse button and drag. Edges of the screen or WASD. And I can zoom with the mouse and rotate and pitch with the middle mouse. Rotate and pitch. Zoom. WASD. Nice. Cool. We can do that. I've got $200,000. The first thing the hospital needs is a reception. Let's build a reception desk near the entrance. So here's our main entrance. Items. Reception. Should put it here against this wall. Cool. We'll need an assistant. Click the higher button and select assistants. Doctors, nurses, assistants. Dolly Stud Muffin. That's a great name. Plus 50% customer service. Uh, let's take you. Dolly Stud Muffin. Nice. Before we officially open, we'll need a GP's office. Patients will visit a doctor working as a general practitioner at each stage of diagnosis. They'll assess patients and decide if they're ready for treatment or need further diagnosis. Click on the rooms button and build one from the list. Okay, cool. GP's office. So if I put that, say, there. And there's their desk, I guess. Filing cabinet, and then tick the green tick. Nice. Excellent. Now we'll need a doctor to run the GP's office. So it'll be higher than doctors, if chunder. Uh. Plus 10%. I mean, they're the same, but I don't really know what the number of stars indicates. You're a student doctor. You're a junior doctor, so maybe it's rank. Okay, let's have you. Okay, the hospital is now open for business and patients will arrive. Cool. To zoom in and out, use the mouse wheel. Yeah, this is fine. That's all good. Uh, middle mouse button and drag up and down, so there's our pitch. Okay, cool. Diagnose a patient. So this is our first patient. Get a nice zoomed in view. Yolanda Colossus, that's a good name. What were you called? Dolly Stud Muffin. 
So he's going to go see the GP. Actually, that's... Yeah, Yolanda, okay. So they've been diagnosed. Very nice. We've diagnosed our first patient. The GP has sent you a message. Have a look at the message list in the bottom right and we'll need a pharmacy. The patient is seeking treatment. Oh, I just, we've discovered the illness grout. It's transmitted in bathrooms. Modern medication is effective and it's, it had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver. Disgusting. Let's get the patient to wait and we'll build a pharmacy. Drug mixer. Okay, build a pharmacy and hire a nurse to run it. You are going to be very expensive. Let's have the student nurse. Oh, hello. Um, so what happens here? So they use this drug mixing machine. Vastly overqualified indeed. The size of his stethoscope. I can rotate and get a good view. So you're cured, are you? Patient cured. We've earned some money and the reputation has improved, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability influences the chance of success. Okay. Nice. That's fine. I can actually speed time, so I'll do that. Now we've got some machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines deteriorate with use and can become a fire hazard. Fires are considered bad for business. Hire a janitor to maintain machines and put some fire extinguishers out. Okay. You seem good. And items. Fire extinguishers. So we just put them in the rooms. Nice. Keep your staff and patients happy. They'll get bored, thirsty and hungry. So give them some seats and things. Okay. To rotate an item, hold left mouse, okay. That's fine. Let's give them... It's a drink machine. And... Cheesy gubbins and burp. Let's give them a bin. And a nice plant. Maybe. That's a kind of oddly placed plant, but I like plants. Can it go in there? I think all the rooms should have plants. And I need a leaflet stand as well. I can go here. Should put them outside the rooms. What did that say? Something about building another room, but I accidentally clicked it away. Staff room, okay. I'll put a staff room here. My bin is clipping through the wall. Have some couches. Oh uh, yes, that's actually sold, that bin. Staff will head to a staff room and you can force people to take a break. I'm like the rest overlord I am. Charlie work. Drink and snacks are great for keeping people happy, but can lead to littering if there are no bins. You also might want to invest in some high quality porcelain. Um, so we need to build toilets. Put them here, why not? Are these just... oh, they're just cubicles, aren't they? That is optimal use of space. It looks a bit weird, but it works. 
Um, uh, we're hearing reports of some new illnesses in town. These might be harder to diagnose. We may need to build a new diagnosis room. Holistics is apparently going to open another of its nature communes for sick okay. people with more sense As you expand the hospital with more rooms and staff, the hospital level increases, which attracts more patients. We may need to build more GPs and things. Okay, let's just get rid of this for the moment. Item controls, that's fine. New illness clamp. Once this grips a patient, it doesn't let go, afflicts many living statues and selfie-taking chumps. So they need to build a diagnosis room. Okay. Who do we need to to use it? General diagnosis info. You'll need a nurse trained in diagnostics. Is that? That's diagnostics. Okay, so we'll hire you and put you in there. Nice. There's a peculiar new illness, lightheadedness. We'll need some expensive new equipment. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock the treatment room and we might need another GP's office. Okay. A ward? Oh, this whole bit can be a big ward. An office with well the that thing there, then patients can get changed. I don't know. There in the corner, and we'll put some beds down. Um, can I get another one on the end there? This is a. It wouldn't be a very nice place to be in hospital. Um, but it is something. Can I give them some plants? It's a prestigious ward. Unlock for K50, current total K60. Okay. Uh, right, there's our lovely new ward. They can be used for diagnosis and to treat a range of illnesses. A nurse is required to admit each patient. Okay. Oh, I've made it. I've made it one block too small. <laughs> okay, cool. The hospital isn't covering its costs, but I need another nurse, a cheap one. We now bring you with the uh. segment, Sir Nigel Reviews. Today I take a look at the new fine dining establishment, Les Souffles Tristes. Lots of people queuing. For the experienced palate this is. The scrambled emu eggs on Oh, I need another GP's office anyway. Where am I going to put that? Put it over here. Nice. And I need to hire another GP. Let's have Rob Codpiece. The Two Point Health Ministry is keen to recognise the achievements of every hospital. If we build a hospital that satisfies the needs of the area, we'll get an official star rating. Not only does each star come with rewards, but will also allow us to establish new hospitals. Okay. The Deluxe Clinic. Okay, that's the... Yeah, cures patients with lightheadedness. I did it again, I made it one thing too short. It'd have to be bigger. Oh. Okay, let's put that against the wall. Sorry, pal. Uh, let's just do that. 
We have discovered a new illness, bed face. A quite alarming contortion of a face caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend using a bed protractor, protractor to monitor sleeping angles. By completing objectives and challenges we earn Q-Dosh. Oh, that's K. Okay. Any item with a padlock can be unlocked using that. We've discovered bog warts. Skin condition caused by filthy toilets. Can be cured with an expensive cocktail of drugs. Or with witchcraft. And misery guts. Chronic grumpiness due to a nihilistic semicolon. Very nice. Um, who do I need to run this? To Assign a doctor trained with extra treatment skills. Okay, it's going to have to be you, isn't it? Will you go and work in this office, please? Hospital reputation is good. Um, there aren't enough plants. Uh, people like the plants. Nice, I feel like that is helping. Your three patients with lightheadedness, so they're... Oh, they've just had it done. A patient appears to have returned from the dead. Oh dear. We'll need a janitor with the ghost capture qualification. These guys can do ghosts. Do something. Okay. Oh, they've just had their lightheadedness cured. We'll have to watch it when we get another patient. Like that one there. Pat Spanner. To tip your doctor. There's no nurse currently in there. Just enjoy that plant. That's lightheadedness. When a patient dies, sometimes a part of them remains. The most terrifying part. Ghosts and messy blighters and leave a trail of ectoplasm. They can also dematerialize and pop up. We might be able to harvest spiritual matter for use by our research team. So they've been diagnosed. Look at him enjoying that plant. So has he got to go back in and see the GP about his lightheadedness? Reporter on the field, on, Dr. Sally Fig Blanket has just returned with her camera crew from another field trip. Okay. As to what she was reporting on, I cannot say. Nobody tells me anything. So, let's see. Right. How are you going to be treated? Oh, it's just going to unscrew the bulb. Nice. So then that's... Nice. You're cured. 